everyone knows the NBA is a respectable league that is very strict on their rules. Melo runs the New York Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> get your feet right. Get your feet right. Get your feet right. <laughs> get your feet right, Foot Mello. Loose. Foot loose. Well, maybe not. But in this video, I will give you guys five NBA players that actually changed or made new NBA rules. Stay tuned, Jake. I wanna go far. There's no stopping. I see them watching. I see them hating. One day I swear I'm gonna be on the station. Mama, I gotta pay. Now, before I jump into the list, I want to get into some honorable mentions. Daryl Dawkins was a physical center for the Philadelphia 76ers in the mid-70s, and he used to dunk the ball so hard, he would break the glass of the backboard. They had to change the material because of his dunks, and it was later changed again because of Shaquille O'Neal. Next is Derek Harper who was a two-time NBA all-defensive second team player and he implemented something called the hand checking rule. This is where the defensive player places his hand on the offensive player's hip or lower back to navigate his movements. He used it on Michael Jordan and some of the greatest players to kinda maintain him. It was later banned in the early 2000s. Now let's get into the five players. Number five, Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain is famously known as the most dominant player the NBA has ever seen, but he's had some favorable rules that kinda helped him out. The dominant Wilt Chamberlain used to struggle from the free throw line, so to compensate for his struggles, he used to throw the ball against the backboard and basically slam it on everyone's head. For this crazy unstoppable move, the NBA had to implement a rule where you basically can't cross the free throw line while doing your free throws. Also, the ball can't be inbounded over the backboard because Wilt Chamberlain used to stand underneath the basket and players would routinely lob the ball over the backboard for Wilt Chamberlain to alley-oop it. Number four, Reggie Miller. When you think about Reggie Miller, you basically think about his famous accurate three-point shot. I mean, how couldn't you? The man shot 40% from the three-point line for his career. That's pretty great. But he used to do something at the three-point line that the NBA had to make a rule for. While shooting his three-point shots, Reggie Miller would routinely kick his leg out to initiate contact and actually create four-point play opportunities. This is something that was also used by Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, Dirk Nowitzki in a way, and the NBA finally made a rule change in 2012. Now, officials would call offensive fouls on any shooter who blatantly kicks their legs out to initiate contact. Number three, Shaquille O'Neal, DeAndre Jordan, Dwight Howard, Andre Drummond, basically anybody that can shoot free throws. Sometimes during the stretch of our closest games, we didn't get to see our dominant centers because they couldn't shoot free throws. This is something called the hack of Shaq. This is where coaches would basically tell their team to foul players off the ball that couldn't shoot free throws to make them go to the free throw line and making them waste possessions. We saw this tactic used all last playoffs where Andre Drummond couldn't even see the floor versus the Cavaliers because he couldn't shoot free throws. But this last summer, they finally changed the rule where if a player is fouled away from the ball in the last two minutes of any quarter the team on the receiving end would get one free throw and possession of the ball so inside of the last two minutes you basically can't do it anymore unless you don't want to see the ball and even though I'm happy the rule was created because it was taken away from the basketball part of the game it's still ridiculous that a player in the NBA can't make a free throw it's just ridiculous to me number two Charles Barkley People that never saw Charles Barkley play might ask themselves how did a 6'6 undersized power forward be great in the NBA? Well, this is going to sound weird, but Charles Barkley used to use his ass to be great. Charles Barkley used to use his ass to back down his defenders for 15 to 20 seconds and that's why they created the 5 second back to the basket rule. 
This rule basically states that a player below the free throw line can't dribble the ball with his back or side to the basket for more than five seconds, which is basically what Barkley used to do in his prime. And number one, Shaquille O'Neal. Before the 2001 NBA season, zone defenses was prohibited from the NBA. The rule stated that a defensive player couldn't stand in the lane for more than three seconds without closely guarding an offensive player. But during Shaq's three-peat, they had to change it because Shaq was basically dominating and bullying every single defender because of his advantage with his size. I mean, come on, man. They had to change it. Shaq was dominating Chris Webber, David Robinson, Duncan. They couldn't stop him. He was 7'1", 350. And even though those guys was big, man, they needed additional help to stop the diesel. And, man, Shaq was mad about it. Shaq said the NBA is for men, and a grown man doesn't need to play zone. Why do you think they call it man-to-man? -man? If you can't play it, you shouldn't be here. This dude was pissed off because he wanted to dunk on players' head constantly. But the NBA had to do something to stop that bully ball, almost football style of play that Shaq was using. They had to do something, man. Now, since I'm done my top five, let me give you guys a rule that I think needs to be changed. It should be called the Dwayne Wade rule. This is where you pump fake, get the defender in the air, and basically throw your body into them to force a foul. This is garbage. It's not basketball. I see Jeff Van Gundy complain all the time about it, and I'm completely 100% with them. That's an offensive foul in my opinion, and they need to change it. Please stop letting offensive players pump fake, get them in the air, and throw their body to force a foul. That's not a foul, man. Change it immediately. But that's a wrap for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Please, guys, like the video if you like the video. That helps me out a lot. If you enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow my social medias. That's the best way to get in contact with me. I go on IG Live. I follow everyone back. So make sure you guys follow me. If you enjoy my content, turn on my notifications, subscribe, do all that great stuff. And until next time, guys, stay. stay. Oh, Jay. Jay. She wanna be just like daddy, so you know I had design her. In the kitchen, fuck it, pans her. When I'm done, she clean them pans her. She think the trap is romantic. She said my side doing diamonds. In the room, private dancer. She just wanna fuck on cash.